have been with Sajikor since 1982. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2002. I was very fortunate in that I get my association as vice chairman of the Cancer Society. I have been very influenced by their mantra, which is early detection saves lives. So I, I got accustomed to taking regular um, annual checkups and I, I caught my situation with prostate cancer very early. I had no symptoms whatsoever. I just saw a, a rising score in my what's called PSA test and that's it. Had it dealt with at that early stage and I'm fine ever since. Truthfully, Perhaps this interview would not be taking place now and I mightn't be here were it not for that early detection. I've been an advisor at Sajikor for 24 years and I've been a client of Sajikor for 35 years. You know, I think we need to be, have a great conviction for the product that we sell. Sajikor has excellent products and as far as I'm concerned I believe that I need to be a testimony to my client to see that I believe in the products that I'm selling and it's as a result of believing in what I'm selling why I benefited significantly when I was diagnosed. In May of 2015 I observed some irregular symptoms I started visiting the doctor and doing some scans. And in July, I did an endoscopy. And at that stage, I, I was, it was recommended that a surgery be done. And the surgery was done on the 15th of July, 2015. And I, since within six weeks after the surgery, I was told that I was diagnosed for pancreatic cancer. I met my current surgical advisor. Um, he was my colleague years ago, and when he became an insurance agent, he took over my portfolio and advised me on what else to buy. He is a very enigmatic personality. I think some of the things that I decided to purchase were largely because of his insistence that I needed them, even though I thought I didn't need them at the time. I was diagnosed with thyroid, thyroid cancer just before my 30th birthday. It hit me out of the blue. I hadn't even noticed the symptoms per se. It was just that I'd lost weight. I remember being a little bit irritable that summer, but it wasn't anything to speak of. And my mother insisted that my complexion had changed drastically. She said I'd gotten darker. And so I went to the doctor, but it was a matter of doing a blood test. That blood test confirmed that I had hyperthyroidism. And then he insisted that I needed to do an ultrasound as well. That ultrasound proved that there, was, there were cells that were abnormal in the thyroid. And the needle biopsy um, confirmed what the doctor had thought was the problem. That confirmed the cancer. They then had to put me on medications to stabilize my hormones before they could operate to remove the cancer. It's very expensive to treat cancer, I can say. I've spent almost over 80,000 US already abroad. However, Sajikor has been very helpful, very supportive. I'm really happy that I did believe in the product that Sajikor offer, because if I didn't believe and convince, then there would be no necessity for me to purchase it. And with this experience, you know, it inspires me to expedite a book. It's almost in the final stage. It says, success is my sickness, and it will be out by next month. The problem in Jamaica is that people wait too late. Wait too long? when they are experiencing symptoms, such as frequent urination, particularly at nights, 
sometimes painful urination, people complain of tiredness, not sleeping well. Sometimes um, blood in the urine can be symptoms usually associated with late diagnosis. The prostate statistics in Jamaica from the Jamaica Cancer Registry is currently 79.1 per 100,000 men in Jamaica. Worldwide, that is regarded as extremely high. Prostate cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths for males in Jamaica. I wouldn't say I had any serious obstacles because as I said before, I have a good team of persons around me. And what I am pleased about is I have other insurance policies that have nothing to do with critical illnesses. My agent, Denton Atkins, you call him and he respond. And I'm not the only person who I've seen him respond to. Um, he has quite a few clients and he makes himself available. I think the personal touch sometimes, the fact that somebody is available, somebody who can advise you on what to do next and how to do it is important. I cannot tell you how grateful I was to have had that kind of coverage when I needed it because I could not have predicted that. I have benefited from the Universal Lifeline. I have benefited from the Maximum Protector. I have benefited from the Triple Protector. Most of my clients are aware of my illness. So when I tell them the benefit, because people don't want critical illness and the fancy of insurance, you know. People buy benefits. They want to know what is in it for them.